welcome to another Sunday visit. I'm your host, Delisa Lander, giving you a first pew view of what could possibly be a new church home for you. Today, I'm at Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church, located on 126 near Kinsman, where Larry Harris is the pastor. Now let's go into the house of the Lord and see what Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church has for you. If you don't mind, my brothers and sisters, I want to look at a portion of scripture, if you will. Just look at this briefly with me, and I want to get in and out of your way, amen? And I know that's very hard for a person like me, but I'm going to do my best to get in and then out of your way, amen? Let's look at Joshua and the 14th chapter, and, and let's pull a verse or two from that chapter, 14th chapter of the book of Joshua, Amen. And I'm going to ask that we would stand for the reading of the Word of God. I thank God for our own councilman, Zach Reed, one of our councilmen. And this is the great Mount Pleasant area is with us this morning. Good to see you, Councilman Reed. God is able. My friend, thank God for you this morning. Amen. If you will. God's Word. Now this is the 14th chapter, and I'm starting at the 6th verse here. Then the children of Judah came to Joshua at Gilgad, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, uh, said to him, You know the word which the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, concerning you and me in Kadesh Barnea. Nevertheless, my brethren, who went up with me made the heart of the people melt. But I wholly followed the Lord God. So Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the man will be the Lord's child, shall be your inheritance, and your children forever, because you have wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord has kept kept me alive, yes. as he said, these 45 years, ever since the Lord spoke this word to Moses, yes. while, I, while Israel wandered in the wilderness. Yes. And now, here I am, yes. this day, yes. 85 years old. mountain of which the Lord spoke in that day. You heard in that day how the Amicans were there and that the cities were great and fortified. It may be that the Lord will be with me and I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said. therefore became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, to this day because he wholly followed the Lord God oh, of Israel. Right. In the name, In the name of Jesus. Finishing what we started. And just a little emphasis on this thought. That's my mountain. That's my mountain. I'm working from the thing that we used in our leadership training this year. Finishing what we started. Often, my brothers and sisters, we find that you may start a task and then, for one other, whatever the reason, you may be taken away or drawn away. Or you get away from the task at hand. Well, that task must be completed. God gave it. Your name is on it. Sooner or later, you must move to the finishing. 
of what has been sought. Can I get a witness? It kind of speaks of a responsibility that you have that may be unfinished, but now is the time to bring it to pass. Now is the time to bring it to completion. Whatever it was that got you off track, now is the time to come back to, to the aid of the challenge that God gave you and finish what you started. In Christ Jesus, my brothers and sisters, often we have uh, not lost because of a failure. We have not necessarily lost because of a recent failure. Your failure does not have to fail or spell your ultimate defeat. Regardless of the reason why, whether someone has imposed obstacles or problems in your way that would stop you or cause you to stop, that failure does not have to be the final note on the task that has been given your hands. We pray that this episode of Sunday Visit has been a blessing for you to find your new church home. If you would like more information on the church we just visited, contact us at sundayvisit at villagetv.org or Facebook or Twitter, keywords Sunday Visit. Attention all pastors, would you like your church to receive a Sunday visit or is your church broadcast ministry ready to go to the next level? Consider airing on Village Television. Village TV has competitive air rate packages exclusively for Christian broadcasting. Please contact us at www.sundayvisit at villagetv.org. If you would like to order this episode of Sunday Visit, please send a check or money order for $10 and the displayed product code to Village Television Care of Sunday Visit, 3615 Superior Avenue, Suite 4203, Cleveland, Ohio. Shipping and handling is included in the price. So get your Bible and join us next time for the Sunday Visit. God bless you.